Hi, this is Matata James and you're watching Joe Today. Hello, Joe Beggars. Welcome to your online favorite city channel, Joe Today. I am your host, Raymond Maruku. Flying is often thought merely as a mode of transport. The Mahali's Gliding Club shows us that flying can also be a rather unique form of entertainment. Gliding, the oldest and most affordable type of recreational flying, has a home in Johannesburg at the Mahalisburg Gliding Club. Gliding is unpowered flying. Uh, it was the first flying at, uh, overall in the late uh, 1880s. From there, gliding developed into a very elaborate sport. And we enjoy the sport out here uh, every weekend. Uh, we are about uh, 90 active members in this club, and then there are some social members. Uh, Mahalis Gliding Club owns four trainers, which are dual-seater gliders. Uh, three of the type of the twin Estia, which are fiberglass aeroplanes, very good aeroplanes. And we also got one old timer, which is a K7, uh, which is still wooden fabric. And then we've got four single seater gliders. The club has different opportunities, including being trained to pilot, motorized gliding, or flights with traditional gliders. Gliding is often referred to as the purest form of flight, as you usually don't use motors and instead, like birds do, rely on weather patterns and thermals in the air to keep you aloft. To get you in the air initially, there are two methods, either being towed by a motorized plane or a winch launch. Now the winch launch is very much like a very steep kite flight, and you release about 400 meters above the airfield. The aero tow, you just follow the tug, and uh, after you release, you try and find the thermal and go up with the thermal. Favorite thing about gliding is being up in the air, soaring like an eagle, and uh, flying cross country. The Gliding Club website, mgc.org.za, provides prices, schedules, and more detailed information on the sport and club. Offering an accessible outlet to aviation enthusiasts in the Johannesburg area, the club offers a comfortable space for both aspiring and seasoned aviators. I'm Samuel Gebhardt for Joburg Today. How's it? My name is Matt Moore, and you're watching <laughs> Joburg Today. Follow us on Twitter, that's at Joburg Today, and like our Facebook page, that's joburgtoday.tv. Johannesburg is known for mining rocks, but these days another type of rock-related activity, rock climbing, is becoming part of the city's social and sports scene. As climbing increasingly gains traction in the sports world, more and more people flock to the sport. The Wonderwall Climbing Gym in Johannesburg provides a space for people to train, professional and amateur. Wonderwall's been around for nine years and uh, we've always been very interested in alternative extreme sports which seem to be gaining traction in South Africa. The people that train here are very diverse. We've got the purely recreational people who are looking at an alternative way of staying fit and healthy and they want to combine it with a hobby, uh, something that's a little bit more exciting, a little bit more challenging. And then we've got the more serious climbers, like the youth climbers that are competing for South African colours and competing overseas. I'm part of a climbing team here uh, and then I also climb for the national team, the South African team. I saw it at my school and I just wanted to try it and I started and I was good at it. It adds a convenient place to come train and uh, we hold lots of competitions here. We've got crew and coaches that are here to actually introduce people to climbing in a safe controlled environment before they actually go outdoors. So we can get the basics down, we can let people experience climbing. We also have technical courses which actually help people understand things like bee laying. So what we also do, instead of just selling equipment, we like to demonstrate the equipment and take a little bit of satisfaction in knowing that people understand the application for the equipment they're going to use before they go outdoors. There are more than a few types of rock climbing and Wonderwall offers indoor options for some of the more popular varieties. Within the gym, We've got bouldering, which consists of climbing without a rope. Generally, bouldering is a small, very, very complicated 
um, or challenging problem. So it's physically and technically very demanding. Then we've got top roping, where people are attached to a rope, they've got a B layer, and the rope is relatively tensioned, so people don't have any risk of falling, and they climb routes that are graded with different difficulties. We also got sports climbing, where the rope is not attached to the wall, and there is no anchor when you start out, and as you climb, you clip the rope in, you top out, and then you come down safely. Well, I was looking for an activity that was exciting and that exercises your whole body. Rock climbing is an excellent activity. It's adventurous, it's exciting. It looks dangerous, but it's quite safe. It's an awesome, awesome pastime. I love it. Well, what I found is it's a very addictive sport. So um, the better you get at it, you want to get better and stronger. And you just enjoy the feeling of it. If you're looking for a way to exercise while staying out of the winter cold, Indoor rock climbing offers a challenging yet rewarding alternative. I'm Samuel Gebhardt for Joburg Today. How's it? This is Zion and you are watching Joburg Today. For more news on the city, do check out our playlist. Also from me, Ray, and the rest of the Joburg Today crew, it's goodbye. Goodbye.